Thank you, Lasky uh, Leader, I'd like for the House to take a look at the citizens' information centres and how we might go about ensuring the continuation of these vital service providers. There are a number of these centres around the country offering a diverse range of services to anyone who is in need of them, tax and money services, free legal advice, immigration assistance and WRC issues. <coughs> The importance of these centres cannot be overstated, and yet many fear that they are going the same way as the humble post office, with people thinking, well, if I don't use it, then it can't be that important. But in the same way, that not everyone's order, orders online from Amazon or Etsy. Not everyone has the capability to join a Zoom conference or do a DIY uh, research on tax or immigration law. That is why these services exist, to help those people who have no recourse to alternative measures. And yet, it would appear that the Citizen Information Board, the statutory body under the remit of the Department of Social Protecting, Protection, is implementing a switch, becoming mainly a telephone website service and failing in the delivery of the traditional face-to-face -face consultations which have been served the people of Ireland very well. The centre in Rat Mines was one of the busiest in Dublin, serving Dublin 2, 4 and 6, and anyone who could call into it, that centre, it, that centre closed on the 22nd of April and will not be replaced. The paid staff were told of its closure only a week before it closed. Closures happened recently too in Enniscorthy, Wicklow Town, and I am told that Crumlin Centre is similarly under threat. Buildings used for these centres are having their leases run out with no attempts of renewal and no efforts to find alternative premises. If this trend continues, the service of face-to-face -face meetings in the persons lo locally with experienced people will effectively end. This would be especially hard for rural dwellers with limited broadband and limited public transport. I need a reminder there's 500,000 people in this country that can neither read nor write. For that reason, I think we do well to invite Minister Humphreys in here and see what we can do to ensure the future access of these uh, services. Uh, Senator Kjogan spoke this morning around um, citizens' information and the digitisation of those services and the lack of face-to-face -face, um, interaction. And I would, I would agree with you, Senator, that face-to-face -face is really important for a lot of people um, and that's, that's those services are there. I do think we have to acknowledge as well, though, that times are changing and lots of people are accessing information online through their phones or their PC and over the phone and email. Um, so it is trying to strike that right balance to cater for those that still want the face-to-face -face service, but acknowledging that, you know, nothing stays the same and things do change and move um, and people are accessing information remotely, um, you know, at a greater, at a greater level. 